Hello BPD Warriors. This is Andy, the BPD Warrior. And um, I need to start this video with a trigger warning about suicide. So if you are in a um, uncomfortable place right now where something like that could bring you to action to harm yourself, please don't watch this video right now. Um, so Walmart had been selling a costume set that was basically a kit to um, make it look like you slit your wrists. I was very disturbed by this. Walmart did take the costume down, but the um, people who actually make the costumes, um, they still are selling them to other retailers. And this is very disturbing to me. Suicide is the tenth leading cause of death in the U.S. 80% of people who have completed suicide had a suicide attempt before. When I posted this on Facebook, it got like 35 comments or something, some of them very long, and multiple people saying they were triggered by the image. Um, the, so this is really disturbing that people think suicide is a gag, uh, a joke, a oh, costume, when we live with this every day. Um, I have, I never, um, attempted suicide by, um, slitting my wrists, but I did cut, and I have those scars on my arms, and I see them every day. I have some on my legs too and I'm constantly reminded of when I was at that point where I was cutting myself. Luckily it's been quite a while. So um, this really bothers me and I think it would bother a lot of people who follow my videos. Um, it doesn't just affect BPD, it's it's every, um, every mental disorder. I don't even know what to say exactly because I'm just so overwhelmed by it. I was literally crying when I read the article and saw the images because it's just, it's not a joke. Mental illness is not a joke. Suicide is not a joke. And if someone was trick-or-treating with those scars on their arms and they went to a survivor's house who happened to be in a bad place, that could lead to them harming themselves. This is a very serious issue. As I said, suicide is the tenth leading cause of death in the U.S. That's huge. And each year the um, CDC, the Center for Disease Control, uh, chooses a certain illnesses they're going to work on each year that they're going to um, fund money to, and they've never picked suicide, though it's been a problem for many, many years. So the reason I'm making this video is not to trigger anyone, of course, but to give you the chance to be an advocate. Um, in the description of the YouTube video, I will be posting a link that has all of the contact information for the company, uh, I think it's called Rub Rubix or something like that, um, that is producing this costume. I didn't find out about it till this evening, so it's a little late for me to call, but tomorrow I will be giving them a call once I get my cell phone, because I lost my cell phone, but it's been found. Um, it's at my friend's house. Um, so this is, this is serious, and if you're as enraged by this as me and many other people are based on the comments I got on my, on my Facebook post about it, then please take a moment to read the article. 
and if you're not comfortable talking on the phone, there's an email address. There's also a mailing address if you'd like to send them a letter. Um, one of the girls that posts on my Facebook page actually got one of her local retailers to take down the costume because um, of her advocacy. So you can still do stuff. You Just because you have a mental illness, you can still advocate. And I encourage you to. You don't have to do what I do. You don't have to go into hospitals and go into public settings and share the dirty details of your story, but you can at least explain to them that you're offended and why. Um, there are more facts about suicide. Uh, you can look at um, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, AFSP.org. They have a lot of facts. Um, it would be good to have some facts prepared to share with um, whoever you come in contact with from this company that is making this costume. Um, I think it's very important that we as a community reach out and say this is not acceptable. This is a serious problem and wearing this costume could literally kill people. So. Please look at the link in the YouTube description and please just take a few minutes, even if it's just a quick email saying, hey, I saw your suicide attempt costume and that's not cool. I don't agree with that and I don't support your business. That's even just that, if they get flooded with enough emails, then they'll hopefully pull the costume completely and no one will be selling it. Um, I'll be making my call tomorrow, and I hope to make some change, some more change than I'm already doing. <laughs>